Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Out of the Park Baseball 25 with the San Francisco Giants. Uh, we are at July 1st of year seven. Um, and if you watched the live stream uh, that went up on Sunday, uh, you would know that things kind of went sideways for me at the end of the stream. Um, I religiously back up my videos or back up my uh uh, my save after uh, after every single uh, recording. Um, I've lost a save before. Uh, a couple years ago, some of you might remember, I lost my Colorado Rockies save. I lost about a year and a half. So I had to go back in and replay al uh, almost a full year and a half. Um, and I made a commitment that that would never happen again. So I back up after every save. And like a dum-dum, I forgot to set the game up to save every month. So the game crashed in the middle of June. Uh, and it sent us all the way back to, to the beginning of the year. So I had to resim up until July 1st. And there were some differences, but, but ultimately um, the record. Uh, so we crashed on June 16th and we were 55 and 25. So on the resim, when I got to that same date, I was 54 and 26. So I was one game worse. Um, and I simmed up to July 1st and we are 63 and 32 going into the month of July. I can see started out a little bit slower. We were 24 and 14 through April, which I think we were 28 and eight uh, in the last, in, in, in the first playthrough, but uh, really good May, really good June. And we're right where we were uh, last night. And again, we got there a little differently. Uh, some of the stuff was, was, was the same as um, um, Carlos Jorge got hurt. Um, Early in the season, you can see he's played 40 games, 40 of our 95 games so far. He got hurt. So we went back to Alvaro Hino Josa, uh, who was a stud in the initial playthrough, and he's been a stud here in this one, putting up a 902 OPS. Um, 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 Glider Figaro, uh, another one who is hitting really well. Uh, maybe not quite as well as he was in, in yesterday's playthrough, but he's been fine. Tristan Cassius giving us an 856 OPS. Um, Figaro is probably our starting third baseman next year, right? I mean, maybe have him work on his defense in the offseason, but Nolan Jones likely to opt out at the end of this season, although his contract demand is isn't bad. It's only five years of 20 million. We may need that money elsewhere. And it'd be nice to get a right-handed bat uh, in the, in, in the off season to sort of turn our lineup around a bit. Um, Sedan Raphael is having a great season. Seven, six, seven, 76 OPS, 14 home runs already tied for his career high. Um, Sean Uel, um, Yeah. I mean, we got him in the leadoff spot. 343 on base percentage, not great, but 27 doubles. That's pretty cool. Royce Lewis having a, a slightly below average season, which seems a little odd, given he's got 33 extra base hits on July 1st. It's not walking much. I think a 14 walks, a sub 300 on base percentage. Um, but still looks like a pretty good player. I mean, you know, we need him. So Dylan Carlson's having a nice year for us. We brought him back uh, at the beginning of this season and on pace for 14 home runs. I'll take it. Uh, Anthony Gutierrez having a really good year, 287. Uh, our catching situation is not as good as it was in the initial playthrough. In the initial playthrough, O'Neill Perez was hitting like 280. Adonis Guzman had like five home runs and like an 850 OPS or something. They're both really struggling, as is Miguel Blyce. He was hitting over 300 in the initial playthrough. Uh, Carlos Jorge is as, as good as he was for us last year. He's sort of slotted into a backup role because uh, of the play of, you know, Joseph, honestly. Um, and then we brought up Colton Hartman. Uh, those of you who watched the stream last night knew that Hartman was, uh, yeah, it's Monday. So last night knew that Hartman, uh, he was great. He came in, he had pitched like 12 innings. He had struck out 20. He had, he was three for five at the plate with a home run. I mean, he was just great, but, uh, I look looking to replicate that magic. And so far we haven't been able to, um, uh, the only good thing is that we didn't we haven't suffered as many injuries this playthrough. But what that does mean is is Wyatt Sanford has been down in AAA all season. Um, same thing with uh, Rustin Rigdon. We called him up, um, and Sawyer Farr is back in AA. So some of the young talent that we brought up uh, in the initial playthrough um, aren't uh, aren't getting that that time here. Um, 
looking forward to using Stroman next year. Just called him up to AAA. So anyway, we are at uh, we are at July first. Uh, so we got draft and deadline. Uh, Braylon Morell is somebody that uh, I'm excited about. He's on pace for 40 home runs and really, really good against lefties. Um, so that might be a bat that we use next season. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of where we are. Uh, we see our, our offensive numbers we just talked about. Uh, if we look at pitching, it's a little weird. Uh, Kyle Harrison, again, not picking up a lot of wins, getting saddled with a lot of no decisions on pace to only win 10 games this year, but still on pace for almost six war. Uh, Yamamoto, an ERA of 411, but a FIP of 319. So you have to think... Um, have to think that that, that ERA is going to continue to drop. Shane Baz has been really good. Uh, only 86 hits in 112 innings, 112 strikeouts. Uh, Noah Schultz has been really good uh, in this version of the playthrough as well. Um, he's given up a lot of home runs, but a 387 ERA. And then Arturo Cisneros, not as good uh, in this playthrough as he was in the other one. His movement has dropped to a 45, so he's given up 16 home runs in 102 innings. But he's gotten a lot better. If you look at his splits, April, March, April, in May weren't great, but three and zero here in June. Um, really settling down. One thirty eight ERA plus, thirty eight strikeouts and thirty seven innings. Uh, our bullpen's been fine. Um, Dylan to break is the only one who's a negative WAR. Christian Little uh, sitting at flat uh, league average, but still two seven eight ERA. Uh, Hers, Waldrop, Neely, Hurt, Campbell all pitching pretty well. So that's that's where we are uh, here in July. So. Um, we're first in runs against as we almost always are fourth and runs scored. I don't know what we're going to be looking for at the deadline. Maybe, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look and see, see what's available, I guess. Um, you know, I mean, maybe we, cause Nolan Jones has been really bad in the field. So maybe we think about trading Nolan Jones. And that allows us to bring Langford up. I mean, there's some talent here. I mean, without looking at, at, at any of the ratings, I'm just looking at uh, the overall and, and potential. And there's some decent players here. There might be something we can make happen. Yeah, no problem eating some money this year as well. That might help. Um, but first things first, got to get up to the draft. So we got a game against Las Vegas today. And we lose back-to-back -back games 2-1 to one to Las Vegas. That's interesting. Um... I didn't see who made the All-Star team. I must have deleted it. So Shawnowell is the All-Star game MVP. Um, box score. Who made the All-Star game for us? Shawnowell, Cassius, offensively. Yamamoto. Looks like the only, well, he's the only pitcher who pitched. I don't know if he's the only pitcher who made the team, but only pitcher who pitched. Uh, all right. We got Colorado coming out of the break. There's another loss, and we lose Anthony Gutierrez right off the bat. Well, that'll give us an opportunity to. So we called up Alec Burleson in the last playthrough, and he hit over 300. Do I want to go that route, or do I want? I think I want to go Morell just because he's a little bit better defensively, and definitely going to play him against lefties and stick him in left. Carlson, actually, no, we put him in right because he's got a better arm, right? 60 arm, Carlson has a 55 arm, yeah. So Carlson will go to left, Raffaello will go to center. And then against righties, I think we bat Blyce. We'll stick Blyce out in center field. So we've lost three in a row. I th actually think we've lost four in a row. So I think we lost the last game of um, June as well. Yeah, so one, no, three in a row. Lost three in a row. Let's get a win here today, boys. There's a 2 nothing victory. Cassius with a home run. Blyce, a couple of hits. Shane Baz, six shutout, striking out 10. That's a good game. We got a nine-game lead on the Dodgers. There's a 9-2 loss behind Cisneros. That's not good. Another loss. We got to stop losing games here. Not a good start to this month. One and four. One and four this month. All right, let's sim this game on draft day. There we go. We win the game six to five on draft day. 
Raffaella with his 15th home run. Jorge hits his fourth. Yamamoto gives up two and five and a third. Hers gets the win. Um, and we have an injured Gavin Stone, who we will send on a rehab assignment. And we'll get to the draft. Uh, right. We're picking last because we had the best record in the league last season. Well, that's a bit of a shame. All right, let's get to our pick. Let's see what sort of talent is available. And there is some talent available. Who does the game want me to take? Danny Cracker Moretto. Low work ethic, second baseman that can't really play the position. I don't think so. Oxman, Balden, Barajas. Huh. I don't know. I mean, nothing really stands out. I mean, Oxman isn't terrible, but he's a fragile catcher. Let's look at pitchers. Oh, I mean, come on, man. You're going to tempt me with this? Really? 75, 55, 65. I mean, this is what you're going to tempt me with. Six foot four, 185 pounds. Top of the rotation pitcher. We got Bobby Staley, who's more of a high high floor guy. I mean, how can I not go after Eric Fennel? I have the money, right? My draft budget's 10-9. Wouldn't leave me much room for messing around beyond that, but I like Staley. Bobby Gorman, the low work ethic, scares me a little bit for a first-round pick. we got a 23-year-old here. I mean, if he's around in the next round. We don't also, are we, um, um, yeah, I mean, there's some 20, there's some 21-year-old guys here. I mean, I feel like I got to go Fennel, right? I mean, <laughs> what does OSA think? Yeah, I mean, OSA likes him just as much. I feel like I got to go Fennel. He's from Honolulu. He's a senior. Um yeah, fastball changeup splitter. Good enough stamina. He's a righty. He's a big kid. We got to go Eric Fennel. We got to. I mean, I can't pass up a potential 80 overall starting pitcher as much as I want to draft. Um, as much as ooh, Staley's still around. I think we go Staley now. Yep. I, I, I'm shocked that we're going to go back to back starting pitchers in the draft, but I wasn't overly impressed with the offensive. Yeah, I mean, I'm still not really. ATN isn't bad, I guess. Josh Baker. I mean, I like Josh Baker. He's not a shortstop, but he has high work ethic. Doherty can't play the field. Rajas is impossible. I think we go ATN. Everhart. I mean, again, really good bat, but I mean, that's, he's definitely not a right fielder. Oops. What did I just do? We set on OSA. Oh, yeah, we are. Maybe Billy Cabrera. I mean, OSA likes him a lot. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, doesn't really have a position. Maybe third base, but. Um, so Everhart's got a bet. I think we'll go ATN here. He's only 17. I don't expect a ton out of him, but we'll see what we get. I think we'll go Andre here just because of the high work ethic. Is 
that catcher still around? No, he's not. Jimmy Adams doesn't look terrible. I don't like the personality, but he doesn't look like a bad player. Cannon. We got here Chris Cepeda. Again, good bat, no real position. No real good defensive players in this draft. You can take Joel Frazier. He's 22. He's a good defensive player. Low work ethic, but... Below slot, which is important, too, since we're spending so much on our first-round pick. Cepeda again. Doherty is still there. Is he an impossible? He's not. I think we're just going to take Doherty because of that bat. He only wants 75K as well, and he's a potential 75 bat. I mean, probably means he's going to turn into nothing, but... Brad Mueller. Terrible defense. Let's go back and look at pitchers again. See if there are any pitchers left. Any starters? We got a 20 year old, only 45 stuff. Uh, we'll look at fielding. Let's look at fielding. Let's see if we can find a catcher. Bobby Hannaway. Yep, I like that. I'm loading up on catchers. Uh, if you watched the, uh, the the stream last night, you'll see that, that we've got a handful of just really elite defensive catchers. Uh, Eli Wagler looks pretty good. Let me take him. Dan Ashley, oh yeah, 100%. I don't know why he is only rated a 45, but that's really good. Yes, sir, Danny Ashley. Uh, outfield range. Well, it doesn't look like there are as many good defensive outfielders in this draft. That's fine. Uh, individual pitch potential. All pitchers. Ooh. Oh, he's a reliever. Man, if he had one more pitch, I would have taken him in a heartbeat. Whoa. Look at all these pitches. Esteban Oroca. I don't know that he ever develops, but that's a lot of pitches. Bobby Miracle. Again, a lot of pitches, but none of them are particularly good. Kevin Lockhart, Lockard, oh, he's an impossible guy. All right. Luis Rojas, we can take him. High work ethic, only has three pitches, so I don't know that he's ever truly going to be a, an elite starter, but the high work ethic and three-plus pitches will work. Uh, Cutter, Dave Cook, it works for me. Potential 75 Cutter, sure. Chris Brantley, yep, I will certainly take him. Again, I don't see how this guy's only a 35 overall, but I'm not going to complain. I'll just draft him and move on. Chris Nolte, yep, he's another one. Load up on stud pitchers and hope that some of them work out, right? Jeff Morgan, I've already looked at him. Eugener, Eugener, Eugener Strong. Doesn't look terrible. Jeff Cannon. Colorado School of Mines, no. All right, so we blasted through all of the Pitching potential or pitch potential, guys. Uh, let's go back to batting potential. Do we have any pitchers that are left that can hit? Not really. 
So let's go back here and go to batting potential and go here. And Chris White, sure, has a good bat, but no position. That works in the 13th round for me. Dan Boyer, same thing. Ed Biter. Take Boyer. And I think the AI will do the final five rounds for me. And I am good with that. So all this talk, you know, over the years about how I hate drafting uh, high school pitchers early. Well, I've now done it in back-to-back -back years. So Eric Fennell, uh, anybody else? Yeah, I'm not going to sign. Well, let's see. If I sign Wagler, I should have, should still, nope, I got a, we got 2.9. So we can sign Wagler. We can sign Staley. All right, now I should be able to sign everybody else without a problem. I know he's very easy, and I could probably save, you know, 50 grand, but it's just not worth my time. All right, so we drafted Eric Fennell. I mean, how could I not? Already at 93 to 95 at 18 years old. I mean, come on. Give me a break. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, we had two second round picks because we had a comp pick from, I don't remember who, but we picked up Bobby Staley and then Dante ATN. Um, so I got to cut some of the, I guess, chaff, if you will. Um, Hanaway, we just drafted. Guerrero, who's my catcher in high A ball? Nobody who's any good. So we're going to go ahead and wave both of these catchers. And we're going to call up Guerrero and Parker, right? Yep, Guerrero and Parker will both go to high A ball. Hanaway, we will disable and move him here. Um, man, Carney's never going to hit. I hoped with that power that he would. Uh, Medico is hitting, so we can call him up. Call Bernie Lemus up just because we got to start giving some of these guys an opportunity to. Eric Nelson's another one. We got to give some of these guys an opportunity to develop here or not. And um, if they don't, then we need to move on. Uh, all right. What do we have from an age? Per yeah, we can one, two, three, four, five, six. These guys can all go. Uh, who's doing well in Anderson struck out 50 and in 26 innings. He can go to high a ball. Um, Igwe's not hitting. All right. So I think we're good there. Who is this? Where did he come from? Drafted him in the twelfth round, seeing three eighty one in uh, high A. I think he can go to Double A without any trouble. Cuevas is raking. We can let him go up to Double A. Aaron Bead, I think, is time to move him here. That's right. We got Ottawale and Aaron Bede. Yeah, we got we have a ton of catchers. How's Bolivar doing in Double A? He's doing all right. I mean, he slipped a little bit. He's not nearly the prospect he was when we drafted him. But uh, how's he doing defensively? All right, he's doing okay in center field. All right, guys, I got to pause just a second, so I'll come back. We'll finish off the month. We'll do the deadline. Be right back. All right, we are back. I had to eat breakfast. My wife made me breakfast. I needed to eat it. All right, so we are through the draft. Um, Blyce is, oh, Miguel Blyce is, is hurt now. Cool. Um, do we go Mullinax or do we go Victor Scott? I think we're going to go Victor Scott just because we signed him as a minor league free agent. And, you know, no reason to waste um, an option here on, on Mullinax, depending on, on what that injury looks like. Uh, but I was moving people around, right? Yeah. All right, so let's. Gutierrez out for three to four weeks, so we'll get him back by the deadline. Um, I mean, we're struggling at catcher, but I, you know, I don't know that bringing in a 
I mean, it would be a rental because, I mean, Aaron Bede's probably our starting catcher next year. Combination of Aaron Bede and Perez, probably. Who are the people we aren't trading? We're not trading any of these guys. Cuevas, Burgess, Bolivar, Maldonado. We're not trading Wyatt Sanford. We're not trading Jaden Stroman. I mean, I guess we could trade Stroman in the right deal, but... um, I mean, we could potentially trade Guzman now and call up Aaron Bede. I mean, he was raking in Double A. hasn't really hasn't played yet in Triple A. But um, let's see what's on. Let's see what's on the block. I mean, maybe we just go base. Jet Williams is on the block. Now we can't afford Jet Williams, and he's only hitting one ninety two this year. Maybe they're just anxious to get rid of him. Curious, yeah, because we're still over budget. Yeah, okay, so they would have to retain it all, and they're not interested in that. So that's that's fine. Not that I expected that they would be, but I wanted to at least look. Rice Terang. Let's look at batting ratings if we're going to look at batters. Terang can't really hit. Campesano be an upgrade for sure. Chung Hu Lee now with Tampa. Zach Jaloff on here every single year because every team he goes to hates him, even though he hits. Uh, I don't know that there's... I mean, Matt Shaw looks okay. And a really good 2028. A lot of speed, positional flexibility. I like that. Wade Meckler. What about pitchers? There's almost always a pitcher, right? Bring ourselves in a reliever or something. Prove the bullpen. Matt Brash is available at $12 million. Do we try to bring Brash back? He was really good for us last year. Duran's making $29 million. Elsie's making 19. What are these contracts, man? Let's talk about Matt Brash. You would have to retain Cassius, Raffaella, Shanuel, Yamamoto. No, thank you. Um, all right. So we were willing to move. No, no. I'm not ready to give up on him yet. I mean, that's a really good third baseman if those ratings develop. Let's, in fact, let's make him a third baseman today. And let's force him at third base. All right. Um, Casanova was a draft pick last season. Start with Berdan. Doesn't move the needle an inch, okay? Still nothing. What if we go to our team? Um, little Neely to break. Still nothing, really. So that doesn't change things at all. Oh, now we can just add in Shane Baz. Oh, well, good. Um, oh, that's, that's what I was going to do. I was going to talk about this. I was going to talk about this. That's really weird. If I retain, I get fewer offers. Whoa, look at that power. I get rid of prospects. Yeah, that's bizarre. I was getting better players with nothing retained. See, that's really strange. Oh, it's because I can't, I wouldn't be able to take a, a player back. Right. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I wouldn't be able to take a major leaguer back because I'm retaining the entire salary. Right. Okay. Oh, 
Jose Rodriguez looks like a decent enough player. <laughs> Wiz and Hunt's been really good. I mean, I don't know. He's all right. What if I retained half? Does that do anything? Cubs will send us Luke Little. I mean, let's talk to them about this because they'll do this. Um, I mean, is this, I mean, he's been pretty average this season. Obviously the fans like him, so that's going to be a huge problem, but you know, I don't want to tinker for the sake of tinkering, but Spino is making nine million for the next couple of years. Yeah, I'm not going to trade him for the sake of trading him. I'd rather pick up a draft pick. But I can. The offers aren't quite as good for Noah Schultz, which is to be expected. Schultz is another player we're likely to move on from, um, but he is likely to be non-tendered, so we're going to have to figure something out there. Who was trading Matt Brash? Maybe we can do something there. Trade block, Matt Brash, trade. And no Schultz. San Francisco can't afford it. I mean, I'm not giving up any of those players, but I'm moving Brash into our bullpen. If we did this, who would become our fifth starter? Hurt, maybe. The problem is. When I was talking about trading Noah Schultz in the live stream last night, Cisneros had a sub three ERA. Right now he's sitting at five and a half. So, I mean, I expect Harrison Yamamoto, Baz, and whoever we put in as our fourth starter to be able to kind of carry us here for a bit. It might end up being Kyle Hurt, and then we just put Brash in Hurt's role. I mean, I'm not against this. Not with any of these players included, though. Um, you want a Donna Guzman? Uh, Guzman doesn't change things at all. Um, what about Triple A? What do we have in Triple A that you might want? Okay, well that changed things a little bit. Added a lot more players, that's for sure. Guerrero's one of the really good defensive catchers. I'm not giving him up. Oh, you want Sam Huff, 32 year old catcher? So my reasoning behind this is the um, – I've seen him pitch, by the way. I saw him pitch in high school just for what it's worth. This is like 10 minutes from my house. Um, <coughs> the His ARB number for next year is 10 and a half. <coughs> Excuse me. And we need to be a little bit smart about what we do from a – financial perspective given wow Tanner Houck was pretty damn good can I have Houck too oh wow that's a lot of money never mind um, we've got if we look at our finances so we've got Noah Schultz at 10.4 um, so if that comes off the books Nolan Jones opts out all of a sudden that frees up 28 million dollars which is going to be big 
for free agency, number one, but also to look at some of our, our ARB guys. We've got Hurt, who's going to be bumped up to seven. And if we're going to be paying him seven, he should probably be a starting pitcher. So we'll make him a starter. We've got Hurston Waldrop, who's bumping up to five million. Uh, Gavin Stone, we're probably walking away from. His ratings have dropped this season. It will allow us to bring back hers. Uh, Campbell's number goes up a bit. Neely's goes up a touch. Gutierrez jumps up to 4.4. O'Neill Perez goes up to 1.9. So if we can remove 18.2 and 10, that's $28 million. That takes us down to 213, which is less than our payroll was this year. And then we'll save a bit in arbitration as we cut off from some of these. So I feel like this is a pretty good deal. I feel like Hurt can give us what Schultz was as a pitcher. And then we can bring back Matt Brash, stick him in our bullpen and make our bullpen even better. So we're going to go ahead and complete this deal. And we'll go to designated. We'll put Matt Brash on our in our rotation. And yes, I did that as a bit of a as a bit of a do we have a we don't even have a pitcher, however, who is um, Colton Hartman's going to get the start today. Colton Hartman's going to get the start today. We are going to bench Hurt for a day so that they don't pitch him today and we'll stick him in the rotation tomorrow. Um, yes, I did it for a, a bit of a bit of the memes, if you will, as uh, Matt Brash is a friend of the channel uh, for sure. So it'll be nice to bring him on, uh, improve our bullpen as well. And I think we're going to go right into a stopper role with Matt Brash. That'll allow us to move um, hurts into a middle relief, use more often type of thing. Uh, we can avoid high leverage now with to break. I think actually we make hers a long relief slash middle relief. You can also remove Christian little from, um, from, uh, 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 uh high leverage as well. And tomorrow we move Kyle, Hurt into the rotation. So let's see how Colton Hartman does today against Cade Cavalli. And we win. How did he pitch? Gave us three and a third. Okay. And then Bra <laughs> Brash comes in, blows the save, gives up three runs in an inning and two thirds. It is what it is. But, you know, Josa gets the win. Uh, all right. So we can go back to the pitching staff, move Hurt in for Hartman, set him at 100 pitches, make Hartman a long reliever. Um, hey, we're just going to stick with Brash in that, in that stopper role and see how it goes. Um, all right, let's see. I had another couple days here An 11 to three loss. That's not good. Who got the start as gets trucked. All right. We got Cisneros pitching today. Here's a seven, three win Cisneros eight and four. I mean, the ERA is 5.4, but this is a good game. Good game for him. Seven innings, two hits, 11 Ks. Morrell hits his first major league home run. He's four for 10 on the season with a homer and five runs knocked in. Carlson, a couple of RBIs. Figaro hits another home run. Another game here against the D-backs with Harrison pitching. Kyle Harrison with a losing record coming into action today. Picks up the victory here. Goes five. Jones, Cassius, Blyce, all homer. So Blyce's injury was not bad, thankfully. Yeah, I, our catching situation is not great, but I'm not really in a position where I want to be trading talent. But what we are going to do is this. We're going to do this. And how did Aaron B do in his short time in AAA? He was one for 12 in AAA, but we're going to start playing him every second day at catcher and we're going to give him some uh some playing time and see how it goes what are we missing here center field Blyce. i guess we'll do carlson i don't want sean well backing up and right that's stupid as my phone beeps I gotta go get my hair cut here in a little bit so i've got a bit of I got about a half hour before i gotta go so we'll keep simming yamamoto today against the dodgers and it's a 4-3 loss. Now Hurt gets his first start. It's an 8-3 loss. Okay. Not great. So it's a couple losses in a row. Make it three in a row. And this has not been a good month. 
Five and eight. Five and eight. All right, we got Austin now, which is the former Senators. There's a 2 nothing win. Another good start for Cisneros. Two RBIs from Figaro. Cisneros goes seven shutout. Brash closes it down. Harrison now. Another loss. They want to send us Camposano. Uh, let's discuss it. You can't have Huff. That's enough to do it, really. I mean, I just talked about not wanting to up, not wanting to pay a lot to upgrade my catching. No, we're not going to do it. I'm going to stick with what we have. Another loss. Come on, guys. Here's a 4-2 win behind Kyle Hurt. Shanoel, two for four, three RBIs. Hurt gives us five and two-thirds. Brash hasn't been terrific, has he? Six earned runs and nine and a third. I mean, he did give up three of those in one outing, but... Um, All right, another game against Milwaukee. We're only three games up on the Dodgers. Just realized that. And we lose Blyce for four to five months. That's not great. We do get Gutierrez back in a week, so we don't have to hang on too, too long. Shanoel, two hits. Figaro hits his 15th. Baz wins his 12th. And if we call up Scott, we'll have to DFA him. So let's just go Mullinax. And we're actually going to stick him in the starting lineup in center field here for a couple of days. All right, final game against Milwaukee with Cisneros pitching. Another victory. Offense comes to play today. Figaro three for four. Three. Look at the Shanoel, Raffaella, Jones, Hina Josa homers twice. Jorge and Figueroa. Lots of home runs in this game. Lots of run support. Not for Cisneros as he gave up five and three and two thirds. But hers, Campbell, Hartman. Hartman walked the bases loaded, but got out of the inning. San Diego now. They're in last place. We got Harrison pitching, and they beat us anyway. We win 8-1. Can't believe, I mean, we're playing as well as we are, and we only have a three-game lead on the Dodgers. All right, Nolan Jones goes four for four. Raffaella, three for four. Figaro, three for four. You know, Josa. Hits his 15th. Morell hits another home run. Only at 259, but 41 slugging. Yamamoto pitches well. Look at Hartman. Inning in two thirds. Uh, all right. Final game against San Diego with Hurt on the mound is a 2 nothing loss. Trade proposal. They want to send us Cameron Johnson for Danny Guerrero. You cannot have Danny Guerrero. Um. Again, not a fantastic month. We're still at well under 500, right? Well, not well under 500, 10 and 12. So we can end up over 500 if we sweep the Cubs here, but I don't see that happening. Uh, Baz pitches today. You know, we lose 5-1. And we win 7-2. So we're 11 and 13 in the month of July. So we can't finish the month over 500. Lewis, 3 for 4. Raffaella has... Say and Raffaella leads us in home runs. He's got 20 home runs on the season. That's nuts. Aaron beat at 318 so far. So Cisneros wins. Let's sim the 30th with Kyle Harrison pitching. 7-6 win. Again, this is bizarre. 8-8 eight eight last year, 7-7 seven seven so far this year. It's really, really bizarre. Um, all right, so we blew it in the bottom of the ninth. We scored two in the top of the tenth. Cassius homers. Morell hits his third. Harrison gives up four and six. Brash blows the save. Yeah, I don't know that that the close of the stopper thing is the right move. So let's go set up and back up closer. In fact, we'll go, we'll switch these two around. I mean, I want Brash pitching a lot, but... Yeah, that hasn't been terrific so far. Uh, all right, it's the 31st. We don't have a game today, so we can just kind of take a few minutes and 
deal with the trade deadline. Nolan Jones is day to day for a week. Expiring personnel. I don't want to bring him back. I do. All right. Um, fifth and run scored, second runs against. Starting pitching is seventh in ERA. But, I mean, Yamamoto, again, has got like a – his FIP is like a run lower than his ERA. Yeah, 4.9, 4.19 ERA, 3.15 FIP. So, I mean, I it hasn't evened out yet, but you have to think it will. Um, I just – I don't like using the trade deadline. I know it's like a, you know, a neat little, you know, thing you can do, but I just don't like it. Robert Gasser, Raffaella, and Yamamoto. No. What if I give you one of those catchers? It's going to prospects. Ike Stat. What about Hudson? Okay, those guys don't change things at all. That's interesting. I thought they would. Guerrero is the catcher of the future, so he's the one who can't go. Um, go back to the active roster. Anybody here? His contract, yeah, his contract is up after this season, right? Yeah, I mean, that's a really reasonable contract for that type of performance for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't give you any of those players. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't keep talking here. Well, it says he's ARB eligible. It says he's ARB eligible, so maybe we can do something with that. Lemus. Pretty good defensively. I, I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm getting caught up on on these guys you know they're they're my prospects and, and I don't want to move them there we go there's the deal so we're gonna send Mike Anderson uh high ceiling or high floor low ceiling ground ball pitcher along with Joey Berdan a catcher without much value because he can't catch Carlos Jorge which is a piece to give up but we're just we're we're gonna get better defensively by doing this and Victor Scott, who's just an outfielder that we signed as a, 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 a minor league free agent. And we're going to pick up 31-year-old Robert Gasser. This allows us to move Kyle Hurt right back into the bullpen. Uh, gives us a very, very good starter. Let's complete that trade. <coughs> um, Hurt's made three starts. And I mean, he's pretty good in two of them. But I kind of like him out of the bullpen more. Gasser, um, how tired is he? All right, we'll see what the game chooses to do. Uh, we'll put Hurt in his middle relief, use more often, and long relief as well. Uh, and then we have to, we got to send a pitcher down. Um, Christian Levels at a 142 OPS plus. It's got to be Hartman. I don't want it to be Hartman, but it's got to be Hartman. We'll call him back up at uh, um, we'll call him back up at roster expansion, and then we call up Wyatt Sanford, and he is our backup middle infielder now. Makes us better defensively for sure because we can bring Sanford in as a defensive sub for you know Joseph. Um, and I think we're going to Figueroa as a defensive replacement for Jones because while he has, he's been slightly below average, Nolan Jones has been uh, pretty bad over at third base this year. 
And same thing here. Why it's Sanford. Why it's Sanford. Uh, every sixth game. Every ninth game. And then Mullinax. 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 That'll change as soon as we get. Um, as soon as we get uh, Anthony Gutierrez back, which happens tomorrow. So let's go ahead and sim the final day of the month. They want to say, yeah, they know we need a catcher. These teams know, so they're sending us uh, catcher options here. But uh, let's delete the messages. Sim the day. All right, so Gutierrez eligible to come off the DL. Molinax will go back to AAA. Gutierrez will come up. Stick him right back in our lineup in center field. Same thing here. Again, I'm concerned about our defensive ability. Rafaela doesn't have as good an arm. So yeah, Gutierrez out and right. Uh, Morel. He'll get a start every third game there. He'll get a start every fourth game here. And then here he'll get a start every sixth game. And then our backup center fielder will be, uh, will be Gutierrez. He'll start in center when... Um, I'll do that. He'll start in center field when um, Raphael is tired. All right, so we're at, the, uh, we're at August 1st. Let's look at... Player development. You got anything of note? Cisneros gets better. Okay, that movement back up to a 50. That's nice. Uh, Sanford, um, he was hitting. Wasn't hitting in AAA, but he will be our backup middle infielder the rest of this season. Rustin Rigdon, looks like he gets a little better as well. Uh, Burgess gets better. That's nice to see. He's pitched really, really well in AA. I think we're going to leave him in AA this year. He'll start next season in AAA. Frank Cuevas. Uh, he's hitting the ball really well, too. He'll finish the season in double-A. He'll probably start next season in double-A, finish in triple-A. Chris Harmon was an 11th round pick in 2029. He's pitching really, really well in A-ball. Let him stay there as an 11th round pick. Guerrero, he's hitting, and he's elite defensively, so he's 23 already. I mean, I think he has to finish the season in double-A. Yeah. He'll start next season in double A, so he's probably not that far off. Arlington Sherrill is a seventh round pick in 2028. He's not really hitting. Kenki O'Brien gets better. That's nice to see. I was worried about him. Um, 30, 40. The control's still a 20, but he is pitching. So let's go. He's pitching well. Let's go ahead and call him up to A ball. Ray in the International Complex. We just found him. Uh, a couple months ago. Carney's power dropped. Yeah, he's going to start to fade. Uh, all right, so that is it for the uh, the draft and the deadline. Um, we're fifth in run scored, second runs against. Our starters ERA is seventh. But we, we basically changed um, um, Schultz into Robert. We changed uh, uh, Schultz into Robert Gasser. And Matt Brash. And I'll take it. I will take that for sure. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and sim. I don't know that I'm going to sim to the end of the regular season because we have the Dodgers hot on our tail. So we'll see where we stand come middle of September. And if, if it's a, a race, I'll come back and we'll, we'll sim the rest of the regular season. If not, we'll come back um, at the playoffs. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.